Welcome to Beyond Overeating by Wholesome Lifestyle Project, the overeating podcast, where I'll be showing up weekly to share with you what I've learned during my binge eating recovery, helpful tools such as yoga, mindfulness, and energy medicine. My name is Stell, and my purpose is to inform and ed- educate so that you can fast track your recovery in healing your relationship with food and finally trust yourself around the peanut butter jar. Join me as I share top tips, my struggles and triumphs to help inspire or just entertain. Remember, there's nothing wrong with you if you can't stop overeating. That's why I'm here to guide you along the way. Welcome back to another episode of the Beyond of Eating podcast by Wholesome Lifestyle Project. My name is Stelkum Heath, binge and emotional eating recovery specialist. I'm here to provide you with easy to use tools so that you can stop binge eating and form a relationship with food and body that is a sense of freedom and just feel so much more confident in your own skin. Today and this week is international eating disorder and body image awareness week and because of that I thought I would actually share a few little insights about uh, eating disorders um, or just a little few facts about uh, the diet culture that actually drives the um, derives a lot of our eating disorder behaviors but also just a few things to think about And then for the rest of the episode, we will move into a tapping sequence to help you shift your body image. So I'm excited to get started. And uh, let's just go with the first little thing that I would like for you to think about today. And that is that diet culture incorrectly tells us that uh, higher body weight is a problem and that it needs to be fixed with restrictive and rigid diets and exercises. Your body is not wrong and it's not to be fixed. So that's the first thing I would like for you to start thinking about. We have been conditioned day in and day out by the diet culture that we need to be a certain size, fit into a certain size in order for us to be happy or healthy or you know actually just fit in and feel comfortable in our own skin. And that's kind of even the jargon that they use. And I would love for you to start questioning that. And You know, when I start working with my clients, one of the first things they say to me is, I want to lose weight. And when I ask them why, they say, because I want to feel confident in my own skin. And that exact programming comes from the diet industry. Because since we were little, we have seen diet culture on the front of magazines, in TV adverts, and now even more on social media, where we'll see someone with a dramatic weight loss story. And the, the, uh, the headline would say, I feel so much more confident. Unfortunately, the truth is that Confidence comes with it from within and it has nothing to do with what we look like. So I'd love for you to really just maybe journal this evening, just take out a nice big patch of paper and really just jot down where these beliefs of your body needing to change in order for you to be worthy or good enough comes from. And it's not something that you just thought of one day. These things come from a culture that says thin is popular and anything but thin is not. Also, knowing that, knowing that your that belief is built on a false culture. Also understand that the diet industry profits of people feeling bad about themselves. And that is the first step in realizing that the perfect body does not exist. And I'm going to say that again. The perfect body does not exist. And you are a unique being human being, 
you are in a unique form that is like nobody else's, not even a twin, identical twins fingerprints are the same. So we are all unique. Our bodies are all unique. And I'd love for you to just start embracing that as your own version of perfect. So stop looking at what social media is showing you. Stop looking at what the diet culture says. And please stop Googling what diet you need to move on next now. I'm very excited because soon I will be releasing my brand new course, which will help you ditch diet mentality and move into more of a mindfulness-based approach, approach when it comes to eating. So I can't wait for, for that to come out. And I'd love for you to keep an eye out for my content and announcements because I'd love for you to take advantage of and be one of the first people to hop on to that course when it does come out because this course is really going to just be a life altering experience where we get to shift and rewire our diet mentality and move into a space of feeling more confident in our skins without having to diet or without having to shift our bodies. So look out for that. I'd love for us to now hop into starting to break some of that belief. And EFT is one of the most amazing tools that I like to use when working with beliefs and emotional responses. And for those of you who have not heard of EFT, EFT is Emotional Freedom Technique. And I covered in episode 20, I covered a episode of dealing with comfort eating um, and we went through a sequence of EFT tapping. So if you would like to go and um, follow that one after this episode, you're welcome to do so. I'll put the link in the show notes. But for right now, I would like for you to just find a comfortable space wherever you are, grab a glass of water wash your hands and we'll get into a tapping sequence that will allow us to move into body acceptance and just being more comfortable in your own skin right now that's right baby you don't have to change your body for anything you can start being confident and happy in your own skin from the minute you use this tool so i'd love for you to just sit back and enjoy this because um, you might want to grab a few um, tissues as well because some of the stuff might hit hard and it might be quite confronting but that's when the healing starts so I'd love for you to get comfortable if you have to pause this episode go and grab what you need I would say grab some water grab uh, your tissues and maybe a journal and a pen and paper or a pen and paper afterwards if you wanted to just process this a little bit further. So let's get started. And through this process, I will guide you. And just a quick recap for anyone who's new to my podcast or who's new to your emotional freedom technique or EFT for short. Or short. EFT is a, a tapping sequence where we tap on certain meridians of the body to release emotions. And through this process, we actually get to start facilitating healing. We start off with understanding how we feel about our bodies right now. So if you have that pen and paper, write down on the top of the pen, and, um, on the top of your page, how you feel about your body right now. Zero being, I'm so in love with my body. It is amazing. 10 being, this is the worst. I hate being in my own skin. Be honest here because honesty is really where we get to start working and shifting. 
Okay, so now that you know where you are, what your starting point is, we can start with shifting that for you. And the idea here is to bring that number down closer to zero. And I'm not expecting you to get to zero after just one session. You might want to actually record this or um, come back to this episode as many times as you like so that you can actually start shifting that number further. All right, let's get started. We're going to move into the first point here, which is in the karate chop um, section. So just taking a nice little tap here underneath the little bone um, under your pinky finger. I'm just going to tap here. We'll take a nice, beautiful breath in. And exhale. And we'll start with these statements. I want to love my body. I want to feel good about it. But right now, that sounds impossible. I have years of hating my body. So many years of feeling so overwhelmed with this body. So many years of underfeeding it. Years of overfeeding it, of feelings of shame for having this body. And taking out all my frustrations and self hatred on my body. And even though I have mistreated my body, I'm ready to see my body differently. Even though I've been beating myself up for years. In fact, I've done it for so long, I don't even notice it anymore. I'd really like to start changing this right now. And even though I need my body to change before I can even feel beautiful, I'm ready to start the process of accepting it. Love for you to just take a deep breath here. This is just the setup statement. If you need a glass of water or just a sip of water, allow yourself to just take a moment to just feel into these opening statements. And then we'll start moving into a deeper sense of release. So we're going to start here at the top of the eyebrow. And just repeat after me. I'm fed up with beating my body up. Side of your eye. I'm so good at beating it up. Under your eye. I've done this for so many years. Under the nose. Would I treat my pet this way? In your chin. Would I treat a child this way? On your collarbones. Give them constant hateful words. And just lift your arm here. I don't think so. And then just on the top of your head here. Why do I treat myself this way? Back on the eyebrow. I think if I had to write it down, how I think about my body, it would be heartbreaking. Side of your eye. Because my body supports me every day. Under the eye. And yet I punish it every day. Under your nose. I'm so frustrated with my body for not looking the way I want it to look. 
on your chin. What's this really about? And when did this start? Collarbone. Is it related to anything else? Under your arm. I'm bringing my compassion into this moment. And speaking on the top of your head. Speaking into this area of my body. And I say, forgive, I forgive you. <sighs> take a breath in, lovely. Let's take a moment to feel whatever comes up for you. Sometimes this can be quite difficult to process. So allow emotions to surface. Allow yourself to just feel what you need to feel. And then we'll start with just noticing if there has been a shift. So I'd love for you to go back to your pen and paper. And out of 10 now, rate how you feel about your body. Zero being, I am so in love with my body. I don't want to change at all. 10 being, I just really hate being here. I just wish everything would change. And then I'd love for you to just see if there has been a shift. Hopefully there has. If there hasn't been a drastic shift for you, I would love for you to just go back to the start of these opening statements and just go through these statements once more before you move into the next step. If you are ready to move into the next step, let's get going. We will start again at your eyebrow. And we'll just tap here under the, just underneath the eyebrow. What if I could start being kinder to myself? Side of your eye. I choose to forgive myself now. Under the eye. It's not my fault that I'm struggling with accepting my body. Under the nose. I didn't do anything wrong. On your chin. I'm learning how to be kinder to myself now. Collarbone. What if I just stop doing all that hatred now? Under your arm. What if I started appreciating myself? Top of the head. What if I started loving myself just a little bit more? Let's take a moment to work through that. We'll start again on the eyebrow. I'm ready to start living my life deeply. Side of the eye. What if my body is doing its best right now? Under your eye. What if I started appreciating myself? And I'll say to your body under your nose, Body, I promise to be kind to you. On your chin, I deserve to heal. On the collarbone, I'm just loving myself a little bit more with every breath. Under the arm, my body deserves love and respect. of your head. I am so grateful for my amazing body. Taking a beautiful breath in, release that, and gently just tune in and see how you feel. 
I'd love for you to repeat this process in the next couple of days and see if there's a real shift in that number for you from zero or from 10 down to zero. Start by now checking in if there's been a small shift for you as well. I can't wait to see you in the next episode. If you would like to leave a comment, just click on the show notes and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Have a beautiful day, everyone. I will speak to you soon. Bye. Thank you so much for joining me today. And don't forget to share this with all your friends. You can do this by adding this to your Instagram story and tagging me at Wholesome Lifestyle Project or by simply telling them about it. If you could rate and review on whatever platform you are listening, this will go a long way in helping me get this podcast out there so that I can share my message and help as many women out there struggling with food issues as I can. Don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram on Wholesome Lifestyle Project or connect with me on LinkedIn. My name is Estelle Heath, and that's where you'll find me on LinkedIn. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.